If your buyer is about to get their loan denied due to credit score for whatever reason, the very first thing I look at again will be if it's a conventional loan and the minimum credit score requirement is higher, um, I'm going to look to see is FHA an option, is VA an option, is USDA an option because those minimum credit score requirements are typically a little bit lower. So loan type is the first thing that I'll look at. Um, the next thing I'll look at is why is the credit score lower? Is it below the minimum for even a FHA or a VA? And usually when that happens, um, it's because a recent late payment might have popped up or the client would have recently paid something off. If it would have been an experienced loan officer at pre-approval stage, they would have told the client to not pay anything off because if it's a, say it's an auto loan with four years of outstanding payment history and then they pay it off, that can actually hurt the credit. It's going to reduce the credit score. Um, or if it's a, a recent collection that popped up, uh, say it's a medical collection that popped up from two years ago and the credit report expired because uh, your client has been looking for a home for the past four or five months. So we had to get a new credit report and the new credit report came back. And now all of a sudden we have a medical collection that popped up that will certainly lower the credit score. What we'll do is uh, have the client call the credit reporting bureau, follow up with the collection agency, and negotiate with them uh, instead of just getting that settled and negotiated and paid off, uh, put in the contingency that they would be willing to do that, even if it's pay off the entire balance, as long as that collection is completely removed from the credit report. If that happens, then as a lender, what we can do is a credit supplement to verify that it's done. And if it's gone, we get a new credit score and that credit score will go back up. Another example is if your uh, buyer has been renting and uh, they're confident they've had on-time rent payment history for the past couple of years, if their landlord was not reporting their rent payment history to the credit reporting bureau, then they can do what's called a, uh, a credit boost. And I believe that's through Experian.com uh, or Experian Boost. Um, if it were, I, I would recommend checking into that. It's either Experian or Equifax Boost. If the landlord reports that payment history to the credit reporting bureau, all of a sudden, instead of paying off a loan and that credit score going down, it'll show as a trade line that has been on there with more than 12 months of payment history, and that'll make the credit score go up as well. And then lastly, depending on circumstances, every file is completely different. You can always request an exception to proceed with the underwriter, again, as long as you have very strong and multiple compensating factors.